welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new my name is Christina and I post videos on motherhood and lifestyle and today I'm going to be going over the top postpartum essentials that I use after I gave birth to my daughter so if you are an expectant mama and you're looking to see what you're going to need after you give birth continue to watch to the end so the number one thing I want to recommend as an essential for postpartum are the pens and women's like diapers. Like who would have ever thought that we would have to wear diapers? But after you give birth, you are bleeding so much that wearing a woman's diaper just makes you feel so secure down there. And you don't have to worry about possibly leaking or wearing some bulky pads. I definitely use them for like the first two weeks when I was bleeding a lot. And I know there are some always ones that are really cute and make you feel just more feminine, but regular depends work really well too so whichever one you like the hospital will also give you pads as well but having these type of women's diapers absorbs a lot of blood because you are going to be bleeding a lot so my number two essential would have to be just to have regular pads as well the pads that i used were super absorbent and they were long and they were unscented the hospital is going to give you pads but they're going to be like hospital like like i still have the hospital ones because i didn't really use them so if you want to use them and then when you're finished using them use your own but i would recommend getting your own because the hospital ones i'll show you guys the hospital ones are pretty like basic they don't have wings they're long so you're going to want to get something that's long like these but also that has wings and that is just easier to be able to absorb and make sure that you're not leaking so definitely look into getting regular pads as well so the number three item that i found to be a postpartum essential was the freedom mom peri bottle this bottle was so important for me because the hospital is going to give you like a squirt type regular bottle but what i like about this bottle unfortunately i no longer have it i got rid of it after i I, I stopped using it but I like it because I'll show a pic above it has like an angled squirter so when you're using the bathroom and after you're not supposed to wipe and it kind of hurts when you wipe because you don't want anything really sticking down there especially if you have stitches I like it because you're able to squirt and an angle and you're able to just use it easily mess free sometimes I even put like warm water in it because it just felt better to be able to do that because after you give birth things like peeing and using the bathroom it hurts and you're going to be sore down there so having something that's convenient to use is so important so the fourth postpartum essential that i found to be really important for me is perineal spray now after you give birth especially if you were a mama that had to get stitches like i did you're going to be really sore down there and it's going to be super sensitive so you're going to need a spray to make sure you're healing it and numbing it so i specifically got the earth mama herbal perineal spray i found this one to be really good it didn't make me burn or anything like that it's just really really good to use now instead of the specific brand i know the hospital also gives you something like this the dermablast i use this as well but i just found that at times it was not as like calming as the earth mama so you can definitely use this it just is cool relief and i would recommend that if you want it to be like cooler if you're burning down there to put it in the refrigerator and just be able to use it like that but i definitely recommend this one specifically so the fifth item that i found to be an essential is witch hazel wipes so witch hazel wipes are really good for like being able to clean yourself down there wipe away the blood it's just especially when you put them in the fridge or the freezer they are just so cooling because you're gonna see that you're gonna have like burning feelings if you just gave birth and you're sore and you have open stitches and everybody's healing process is different so being able to use like witch hazel pads i know i bought this specific brand of them they're like round they help with relief they're moist and they were really cheap off amazon they came in a pack three i got it at a good price so i use them and i would put it in the freezer and and then when I was ready to use them, I would just get them and wipe. Also believe there are perineal feminine wipes that you could use. I'll be sure to link those as well, but just make sure that you're getting wipes that you're able to wipe with that you can use that are cool and refreshing when you need to use them. 
So the sixth thing I would recommend is when you do stop bleeding as much, you're still gonna wanna be able to use something like a panty liner. So make sure you get something like that because I know for me, I was still really like not as tight. So if I cough or sneeze, I know I would pee a little. And if I wasn't bleeding, I still wanted to be able to have something to absorb that. So I would definitely recommend getting that as well. So the seventh item I would recommend is nipple pads. So whether you're going to breastfeed or you're not going to breastfeed, your body is still going to produce milk and you want to be able to have nipple pads like this. I got these from Amazon as well or Target. Both of them sell it and it came in a pack of like a hundred and they're disposable because I just want for it to be able to absorb and throw them out and not always have to worry about washing them. There are ones that are, you know, reusable, but I use these and it came in a pack of a hundred for like under 20 bucks and they were just so helpful. They look like this and you just put them inside your bra and they just absorb your milk. So I definitely recommend you being able to get that because you don't wanna have to stain your shirts. The eighth thing that I wanna recommend as an essential is cotton high-waisted panties. You're gonna to wanna to get some granny panties for yourself, as funny as that may sound, but after you give birth, you just wanna wear something that is comfortable and soft and something that is, you know, will cover you up. Your stomach is still gonna feel loose, so you wanna be able to just wear something that will cover you up and make you feel good. So definitely get a few packs there. There's so many different brands. I got a pack from Amazon, a pack from Target, and you just wanna make sure that they're 100% cotton so that you feel comfortable in them. The ninth thing that I would recommend is definitely be able to get a perineal donut type of seat. This is so important and I wish I had gotten it when I gave birth, but I didn't. So I definitely want you guys to get it. After you give birth, you are so sore down there. You can barely be able to sit. The hospital is going to give you like ice packs and things like that, but you don't wanna always be sitting on something cold. You wanna sit on something that's soft and, and comfortable. So I definitely would recommend that. I know that Freedom Mom has a cushion that you can sit on and I'll be sure to link that in the description box below, but it's definitely something that you need to get to make you feel more comfortable when you get home. The postpartum essential item is for the breastfeeding mamas, and that is nipple cream. Specifically, I use the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Cream. Now, this is, this is so important because when you first start breastfeeding, your nipples are just not used to your baby nursing on you. So they're going to get sore and they're going to get cracked, and it's probably going to hurt. I know it hurt me. So I definitely recommend getting some nipple cream to just help you with the soreness and the cracked skin and that will help you get through the first few weeks of nursing. So the 12th thing I recommend is, again, for my breastfeeding mamas are nursing bras. Oh my God, when I came home after postpartum, I didn't realize that I didn't even really have good nursing bras. I definitely recommend, I'll be sure to show them right here above and link them in the description box, cotton nursing bras that are just easy to just whip out your breast, be able to nurse, because you don't wanna have to deal with the ones that have like the snaps. Those are cute and you know, you could use them as well, but I recommend soft ones, ones that are easy to just wear because what's most important is that you just feel comfortable when you get home because you just want to be able to heal, feed your baby, get as much sleep as, as you can, even though that's probably going to be limited. So I definitely recommend getting those as well. The 13th thing that I recommend is stool softener. I know that may sound a little crazy, especially if you haven't given birth yet, but after you do give birth, the scariest thing for me was not only having to pee for the first time because yeah, that hurt, using the bathroom for the first time. It hurts, especially if you got stitches down there. So I definitely recommend using a stool softener, something like the Dula Blacks. You don't wanna have to use a lot of it, but definitely the first time, just to be able to just soften your stool and so it doesn't hurt or rip you or anything like that. But I definitely would recommend that as well as if you wanna just eat things that will make you make your stool soft, like olive oil and whatever else works. But I know using that definitely helped me to be able to use the bathroom for the first time. And it's definitely something that people don't really talk about. And it definitely was important for me to get as a postpartum essential. Now the 14th thing that I believe is a postpartum essential are comfy clothes. When you come home, 
you just want to be able to just relax and take care of your baby and heal so you're gonna want things like really comfy leggings or really comfy lounge pants and like a comfy t-shirt even something like I'm wearing right now because when you're a new mom you're just lounging at home you will literally be lounging at home for the for like a month at minimum maybe even the first three months because you really can't go anywhere especially now in the pandemic you're pretty much stuck home so you want to make sure that you just have some comfy clothes to wear. I'll be sure to link some outfits that I have and, and use, as well as some like nursing outfits that I lived in when I first gave birth as well. Okay, so the 15th item that I found to be a postpartum essential are gel pads for your nipples. So if you're a breastfeeding mom, you are going so sore, and when you're giving your baby milk, it's going to hurt sometimes. So what I used to do is I used to be able to use these gel pads, I would put them around my nipple after after I fed her or if I was feeding her off of one breast I would put it on the other breast and you could either put them in the microwave or you can put them in the freezer just to be able to cool off or just keep them moist and make them feel better because it's going to be sore when you first start learning to nourish your baby and they were such an essential for sure so the 16th item that I found to be a postpartum essential is gummies gummies specifically for hair skin and nails because your hair is going to fall off you're going to get those postpartum hairs i still have it they're just like these little flyaways your hair is going to break off some some women even like get little bold spots so i definitely recommend getting some vitamins that are just multivitamins vitamins that have biotin and that just help your your hair grow back because it's going to take time but i know that when i stuck with using this it definitely helped my hair grow back but I'm 12 months in and my hair is just starting to grow back in this awkward stage. Probably why I'm wearing a headband because I can't even wear a ponytail like that. So I definitely would recommend getting a brand like this. The 17 item that I would recommend as a postpartum essential are prenatal pills or postnatal pills, whatever you want to use. But I know that after you give birth, you still have to use your prenatal pills. It's definitely the vitamin of choice recommended by your doctor, especially if you're going to be breastfeeding. So I definitely recommend continuing to use your prenatals or if you find a postnatal pill you like. But I specifically use the Garden of Life My Kind Organics prenatal pills and I absolutely love them they're healthy they're organic and they're the way to go for me and the 18th thing that I would recommend definitely having as a postpartum essential is a reusable water bottle because it is just so important for us to be able to take care of ourselves and stay hydrated, especially if you're a breastfeeding mom like me, you have to continually drink water throughout the day. And as well as like, you wanna not be dehydrated and take care of yourselves. In order to take care of your baby, you have to take care of yourself. So I would definitely recommend having a bottle that helps you drink water throughout the day. 20 items that I recommend as as a postpartum essential are food, food items, whether they're protein bars, protein made protein shake, frozen meals. You are just gonna be so busy taking care of your baby and take trying to take care of yourself that you're going to need meals just to get. So whether you have like a family member bring you like a frozen lasagna or you get like a hello fresh like delivered to your house or you're just getting smoothies or granola bars whatever it is having food items to be able to just grab and go and having snacks ready and prepared for you is just so important after you give birth because you really do not have time to cook you just don't you and your husband are going to be busy so make sure you stock up on some food items so that it can just make your whole postpartum journey a lot easier and the last item that I recommend as a postpartum essential is a postpartum stomach wrap now I don't have mine in front of me specifically I'll definitely show you a picture having a postpartum wrap is really important because it helps your stomach and your body heal it helps your with your uterus contracting and it just helps you keep your stomach and get to get tighter because everything is just going to be loose and you want everything to just feel more upright and together and I know for me it helped my stomach go down and it helped Help me just feel better about myself so my stomach wasn't always like dragging out like you don't have to wear it all day but if you wore it like an hour or two a day it'll just definitely make you feel a lot better about the healing process so I definitely recommend you using that so I hope you guys liked all the items that I recommended I definitely recommend that you guys keep everything in like a basket
it, especially your clothes when you first come home from the hospital. You want to be able to have a basket that if someone is helping you out, like your husband or your in-laws, you can just tell them where to go and what to get. When it comes to the things that you're going to use in the bathroom, I would recommend having a basket in there so that you could easily be able to grab that as well. And then I also recommend, I love baskets, I also recommend having a basket in your bedroom or in your nursing room where you're going to be feeding your baby so that you can grab things from there. So I wish you guys the best of luck in giving birth and postpartum experience. I hope that you heal well and you feel good and just know that whether you're not feeling good and you don't feel well, that's totally normal. I know for me, I bled for like almost two to three weeks. After a month of bleeding, it did calm down and I did stop bleeding and I definitely felt some pain, but I was able to take like Tylenol to overcome the pain and it definitely did help because what happens is that you're going to feel contractions after you give birth because your uterus has to go back to normal. So having contraction like pain is totally normal. And when you're a breastfeeding mother, the milk is actually helping you contract your uterus faster into normal shape because your body is creating oxycontin from producing the milk. So if you're a breastfeeding mom, you're actually going to help the process of your uterus going back to normal, but you will still feel the pain. So definitely take some over-the-counter medicine. That's what your hospital and your doctor is going to recommend you do. And as well as how you feel, be aware of how you're feeling. And if you're starting to feel down and thinking you possibly have some postpartum depression, definitely speak to your doctor and your loved ones about it because it's totally normal to feel that way. I know for me, I didn't specifically feel depressed and down, but I definitely was just super paranoid and cautious about my baby. I didn't trust anybody with my baby. I wanted to take care of my baby and do everything myself because what happens is I'm a new mom. You're just like so aware of all the things happening and you start, you know, you start thinking about how it was for you as a child, how you were treated. Just so many different emotions and thoughts come into your head when you're a first time mom. And if you have postpartum, not everybody experiences it, but I know that's how I felt when I first gave birth. So know that it can go away, but it needs to be treated. And if you're feeling great, then that's wonderful. I definitely was really happy to have my baby, but I know that not everybody may feel that way. If you have all these items that I mentioned, you're going to be good to go you'll be able to just heal and take care of your baby because that is what the postpartum experience is about getting back on your feet, sharing those beautiful experiences with your newborn and infant baby. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can find out when my next video comes out. I hope you guys are doing well and you're staying safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>